Welcome to What's the 4 on 1, your smart source for urban, lifestyle, and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Cox. And I am Onika McLean. Welcome to the show, guys. Hey, hey, we're, girl. Back. Hey. we're back. <laughs> we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We missed you. We missed you. And we're back. And she got a lot of energy. A lot yes, of energy. Yes, I do. That's good. How has your week been? It's been busy. I am doing comedy all over the city. And uh, I have a out. show. Oh, it's gonna. We're gonna film. This is gonna tape after, after. the show. But there'll be other ones. Yeah. So October, yeah, you guys right? need to follow me on Instagram, Diva of Comedy. You need to follow uh, Kizzy as well, so you can see our shows real and stuff. Kizzy Cox. And, Cause Kizzy, the real Kizzy Cox, is um, <laughs> award winning. So I mean, you guys are getting some stellar stuff. You get us while the prices are moving down, <laughs> because it's gonna be a time. When you're not going to be, I'm digging, can I get a ticket? Uh, no, absolutely what? not, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, that's not how that's going to work. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know who has gotten too expensive? Who? Huh. Kenya Barris. Now, we reported on this a few weeks ago that Kenya Barris was leaving ABC, and he has signed a very lucrative deal with Netflix. So Netflix is a step up from ABC at this uh, point? What's happening absolutely. here? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, ABC, you get some shade. Absolutely. A staple. And now we know why he left ABC. Remember we were talking about how, you know, he had this whole... Um, the 10 deal? He was going to... No, he was going to talk about that shelved episode of Blackish where he's talking about the kneeling and the NFL. Oh, and well, they you were talking not. about Roseanne and how you were like, how would they allow Roseanne to say all those things when right. she had her special without, okay, yeah, and right. they shelved Blackish. I remember. And you guys remember too. Exactly. And so mm -hmm. that was his whole thing. It's like ABC executives wanted to court kind of that red state. Mm -hmm. you know audience mm -hmm. and they did it at the expense of the blackish episode and at that point Kenya was thinking you know what you said I can do what I want here and if I'm not able to present this then you know what value am I really bringing to this and so that's when he you know really made the decision that he had to move on and now he's at Netflix doing his thing these black people done got some rights <laughs> <laughs> they done got some rights in the game of rights <laughs> Now they make a decision. You go ahead. Go back. Go, black people. Go. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so. so good. Oh, so wait a minute. So I'm going to throw shade a little bit because Tamar is, right? So Vince he, Herbert, right? It's Herbert or Hubert? It's Herbert, Herbert right? Herbert, Vince yeah. Herbert, who is, you know, Tamar and Vince, that's the other half, but he was like a bigger piece. But anyway, that's hilarious oh, to me. So, okay, so she is in the hospital suffering from gout. Me men always get gout. It's true, like, there was a gout. So he's suffering from gout. And, uh, tell me, he NFL in the NFL? Who? Vince? We was in, Vince was in the NFL? He wasn't? I, no, what? He is the he is the producer of Lady Gaga and all that oh, stuff. I mean, okay. no, no. Oh, see, so, I don't know. You just think he's a big guy. He was a football player? <laughs> yeah, I was like, something. No, I was like, okay. The Green Mountain. No, okay, anyway, she said the Green Mountain. I did not say the Green Mountain. But anyway, poor Vince is in the hospital. And Tamar, who is bald. I, what, what's going on with Tamar? She, she, she shaved her head. She shaved her head because she got rid of Vince? I, I thought she had cancer. I was like, did you? Okay, so no. anyway, so back to back to Vince and the gout, guys. Back to Vince and the gout. So you Vince, even got our executive producer shaking <laughs> her head. You need to stop this. I'm sorry. So <laughs> back to Vince and the gout, guys. This is what's happening. So he's in a hospital. Now, Tamar, they have a baby together, and they're still married. But Tamar refuses to go to the hospital. She's like, bye, see you later, boy. You have stressed me out long enough. You better get somebody to help you out. So she is not going to the hospital. And I'm just saying... Oh, well, what do you think? That's it. They're, I mean, they're in the process of getting a divorce, so she doesn't have to visit him anywhere if she, she doesn't want whiz. to. I, he should. You know what, Vince? Should have never let her get that record deal. Because <laughs> remember when it was like the Braxes? <laughs> she wanted to get on so bad. He was like, no, 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 no. Oh, she Lord. found her voice. She did right. for her, but not so good for And him. now he's in there, gout all by himself. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. So, remember that fight? with Nicki Minaj and Cardi B and New York Fashion Week. Okay, Remember this that? was the fight. Let's go. Let's do it. This is the fight. Do this. <laughs> this do this. This, was, this, this wasn't even that. This it was this. This is the and fight. And threw a shoe. That's the, that's, Cardi did, threw a they shoe. They did not have a fight. They, no. they, they had an argument, a little altercation. They, Actually, yeah, well, Cardi didn't even touch Nicki. And then Cardi left with a big knot on her head. I right? cannot stand that female rappers always go through this. Little yeah. Kim, Foxy Brown. Like, yeah. just, like... Nicki Minaj and anybody but a vagina. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. 
<laughs> she called me for my wow. address, but they call them back because I got milk drops. Hashtag. Listen, no edge is about to be snatched again. The real BB Judy. No, no, my edge is up. here, honey. Listen, so Cardi B, Nicki Minaj had this fight, right? Like you said, and everybody is doing just fine you know mm -hmm. everybody seems to have gotten a mm -hmm. career boost from the fight so cardi is coming out with new music and she's also performing she's still performing at the global citizen festival that's Good. happening in new york so she's doing well meanwhile nikki you know she came out with her new podcast queen radio so it's been out for a few weeks she saw such a huge boost the week after that fight like Queen Radio was actually trending on Twitter. It they was probably that was texting big. each other like, "I'm gonna throw a shoe <laughs> to the right, move to the left." <laughs> Listen, they are doing so well. Nicki Minaj, her video them. came out, and it was like five million views within a day of being like put out there. Um, her friend Rihanna, Nicki Minaj's friend Rihanna, like uninvited Cardi B to the Diamond Ball though. So that was the, that's the one thing. People are taking their little sides. But, you know, if you were riding for Cardi, you're still riding for Cardi. If you was riding for Nicki, you're still riding for Nicki. So this right. was just jokes, basically. Right. I yeah. just, so this is the thing, right? Yeah. Which is not a joke, right? Mm -hmm. Nike stock, mm. it shot through the roof. <laughs> so Nike, ah. right? So Nike, Nike, right? So Nike, yeah. they decided for their 30-year of that uh, Just Do It uh -huh. campaign, they invited Carlin, Carlin Kaepernick, right? Yeah. And, yes. uh, you know, that. all of white America was like, oh, I'm going to burn my Nikes. <laughs> right. And I was like, why are you burning your Nikes? That doesn't make sense. Like, he just kneeled. Like, well, okay. So anyway, can't burn the flag, got to burn Nikes. Okay, whatever. So, <laughs> so anyway, but it didn't matter because now Nike is having, like, record numbers in of their stuff. Of course they are. And the, did of course you, wait, they are. Did you see, what, G Jennifer Lawrence, did you see her at the Grammys? Yeah. She had the Emmys, the, at the Emmys, Emmys, yeah, at the yeah. Emmys, at the Emmys. I'm sorry. I, yeah. I was like, what? I love it. I love, I love it. it. She I had, like, a little blinged out, blinged out swoosh. Yes. And her little bracelet to match. I was like, you yes. go, Jennifer. Yes, go ahead, Nike. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, Colin Kaepernick. Like, he is not going to be poor. Absolutely not. I, right. But you know what? Our executive producer said this a cup, and I'm not kissing up, but she said this like a year ago. I'm really not. Oh, you're doing me. Oh, that's good, <laughs> Patty. Don't feel good in your belly? Okay, so anyway, so she said, she said, this is what she said. She was like, you know, corporate America needs to start taking sides. And I was like, corporate America is never going to take sides. And she was like, if they do, Mm -hmm. It's all yeah. about the dollar, and, right. and and if sides go with the dollar, and you see that if you do the right thing, you'll make more money, then more companies will take right. a stance. Right, they are, and it's absolutely. Go ahead, Nike. Right. Go ahead, Nike. Right. Mm. You know, people are all the corporations are taking mm -hmm. sides right now. What do you have, Chick Fil A, who's like you know all the anti. Gay but, stuff. But wait a minute. Pushing. But wait a minute. Chick Fil A's opening on Sundays. I said, G poor Jesus. They are? Yeah, they want to start opening. Oh. Oh gosh, I don't okay. even know what's happening. But sometimes you just need your chicken. But sometimes you, know you need your chicken. Speaking of chicken, right? Drake. Right, so Drake is dating some 18-year-old so girl, right? He done took this 18-year-old girl. Her name is Bella Harris. She's a model. He took her to dinner in D.C. What's the what's the restaurant? He closed down the restaurant. RPM, RPM Italian. Italian. In, in D.C. At 18. How old is Jake? Drake? 62? How old is oh She's like 30. He's maybe like 34. So that's okay? Like that. 18 and 34? Who was dating an 18-year-old? R. Oh. Kelly? Oh stop! Oh, oh, I'm just sorry. No, I'm just, I'm what? just sorry. No, you. are not. <laughs> well, all right. Well, I don't, I don't. Mm. Mm. Listen. How about Quincy Jones talking about he's eighty something years old and he's not gonna date nobody old. He's dating everybody's twenty something and thirty something now. That age gap is just absurd. Quincy Jones probably have dementia now. <laughs> not sit, don't listen to him. You know, like don't don't come for the elderly's edges. Like the elderly's edges. Like you want to go from Drake to Quincy Jones? That's fifty years. You but, just but but he's dating women fifty years younger than him. So I, I'll we'll, we'll date see. I'll date younger men. Uh, How young? Like in their thirties. That's younger. Okay, that's not. That's, that's not right. younger. That's not that much younger. That's fine. That's not really anything. Yeah. What I'm talking cougar, like meow. I'm talking. No, like, I'm a Rawr! thundercat. Like I, I would do 26, but they be wanting Jordans, and I'm not buying no Jordans for nobody. My kids is pipping me enough, and there ain't no guy gonna be asking me for my money. You're not trying to be no sugar mama. 
Not no, because that's like the Thundercat. Like they like, hi, uh, I need help with my tuition. I'm like, I'm already paying tuition, sir. Oh lord. You know, no, no. Uh, I'm just joking. These are jokes. These are jokes. No. no. What you got? What, what else you got? Yeah, listen. Got? So, we all love Chadwick Boseman, who is not. 30, he's 30 something. He's so 30 he's right, something. He's, he's right there, girl. He's right yeah, there. He, wait. Chad Chad Bo- but he lost that fight. Like, I like Killmongers. Like, I'm from the hood. I'm like somebody that's going to be like, first of all, burn it. <laughs> burn the whole damn thing. You be like, that's right. Burn this shit. We don't need it. He bringing that Ray Ray energy for you, Ray Ray. See, and you he keep saying Ray Ray. So when people watch this, they're like, who's Ray Ray? Stop. <laughs> Didn't I make it up? I just made up Ray Ray. Okay. Uh, we, we understand it's a fictional character. However, fictional he, has, character. he has become a part of but the I'm show. But I'm just saying T'Challa lost that fight. Well, well, okay. Well, we love, I love Chadwick Boseman, who played Black Panther. I love him. And he's given us more reason to love him. What so did he, do? he visited St. Jude's Hospital, you know, that hospital that cares for kids with cancer. Mm-hmm. And he posted on Instagram this had a birthday celebration with a beautiful little princess, Maddie. She let me throw the confetti twice. I think I had as much fun as she did. Hashtag St. Jude. So Oh, that's nice. Big heart, big muscles, the whole thing. Go ahead. I love did you <laughs> yeah, I have to I do it. Love that. Because you know why it's dying. Like nobody's like doing it. Like, come on, black people, we gotta keep it up. We forget too soon. Reparations. <laughs> no. Reparations. What you don't need to forget, we're gonna take a quick break. And you need to go and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah. Yes, that's what you need to do. And Flash Briefing. They need to watch us on Alexa. Yes. If you have Alexa Flash Briefing, what's the 411 is on there. Right. If you're listening to the podcast, Alexa Flash Briefing, tell a friend. And both of y'all, please subscribe. We'll be right back with our interview of the week. Flash, 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 flash. 